just have to think 14 moves ahead, that's all. Here are 10 iPhone iOS security features and settings that you need to know about in 2022. There are a couple of bonus ones at the end for those of you who take your digital security seriously. Anyway, you ready? Let's go. Wouldn't it be great at the end of every day or each week or month, you could assess what apps and websites have used your cameras and mics? Well, you can do it if you turn on this feature. Simply go to settings, then select privacy, scroll all the way to the bottom of this page and tap on app privacy report and enable it. Here you can now look at every app that's accessed your phone's camera and mics and you can also see what websites have been sharing data on you. Now it's time for you to take back control of your info. Take this tool and use it wisely my friend. Tip number two is for those of you who just used tip number one and then got a little bit worried when you saw how many websites seem to have information on you. One of the ways that this could be happening is through email. If you want to put a stop to this, turn this feature on now. Go to settings, tap on your name at the top of the page, go to iCloud and select hide email. Here I do recommend you create a new secret identity email address and you'll see why in a moment. Unfortunately, it won't let you choose your own one, but it will allow you to choose from three different ones. I've been given this and honestly, I couldn't have come up with a more random email than this one. And let me know what's the funniest random email you've ever been given in the comments. But anyway, now you've enabled this feature, anytime you log into a website with the sign in with Apple option, your email address will be hidden automatically. However, all of the mail from that app or website will still come to you as usual, but they won't actually know your real email address. And for websites and apps that don't have the sign in with Apple ID, you should try and use your new secret identity email instead of your actual email. And the great thing about this trick is if you find yourself being bombarded with junk mail from a dodgy website, you can now delete your secret identity email completely without affecting your actual main email address. Number three, did you know that a lot of companies use tracking pixels to see if you've opened their emails? They can even see what links you clicked within that email and in some cases, these tracking pixels or cookies can even see what you did after you closed the email. This is completely legal practice and in 2022, information is more valuable than ever. It gets sold like a commodity to marketers so that companies can sell you more stuff more effectively. And if you don't want this to happen to you, you absolutely positively need to use this well hidden feature. Go to settings, tap on your name, go to iCloud and enable private relay. This feature is kind of Apple's very own VPN built right into the software. And using this feature, you can choose to hide your precise location and use a general location instead, or even go broader than that and just allow people to see what time zone and what country you're in. Number four, so as you've already learned, companies like to sell cookies and tracking information to each other about you so that they can make more money for themselves. Well, did you know they can do this through apps as well? And now it's time for you to take control back of what apps can track you. Go to settings, go to privacy, and then to tracking. Here you can pick your poison. As you can see, I always opt out of allowing apps to track me. I only allow apps to track while in use. The rest of the time, it's a need to know basis and they don't need to know. Number five, did you know your geographical location is another valuable bit of information to companies who wanna sell you stuff? For example, maybe a very dodgy local sales company wants to try and rip you off. They could advertise to you and everyone in your precise area code with great accuracy because a lot of people don't realize that they're sharing their precise location. And do you know what I say to those very dodgy ripoff merchants? No thanks. So to stop this from happening to you, go to settings, go to privacy and then to location services and then from the list of apps, choose carefully which apps can see your precise location. For example, maps you should really leave on, but you should definitely switch off or limit the ones that have no business following you around. Number six, do you know which apps you have given permission to listen? If the answer to that question is no, then you need to do this right now. See that red button below this video that says subscribe? Hit that. Okay, okay, you don't need to do that. Here's what you have to do. Go to settings, go to privacy, 
choose microphone. Here is a list of all the apps that can access your microphone. Now, some of these will need access. For example, Instagram, if you're posting videos and story, if you want it to be able to capture audio, it has to have access to your microphone. But other apps like this one, the NHS app, I don't see any reason why that app needs access to my microphone. So I'm turning it off. Also, here's something to look out for. If you ever see a green dot or an orange dot, just to the right hand side of your camera notch. Green means your camera is being used and orange means your microphone is being used. So keep an eye out for this. If you ever see the green or orange light come on unexpectedly, be on your guard. Number seven, so picture this. Phone camera AI has become so good that it can recognize scenes, people, pets, products, and so much more. The metadata attached to those photos can also include location information, the time the photo was shot, and the device you shot it on. All of this, again, is valuable information to marketers. And if you've made it this far into the video, you probably get where I'm going with this. You need to take control over who has access to your photo. You can do this by going to settings, privacy, and then photos. Here you can observe the apps and the access that they have. And I suggest you take back control over your photo libraries where needed. Number eight. So only you should know your passwords. I mean, that is the purpose of a password. But maybe, just maybe, you've become a little bit predictable these days with your password choices. Well, even if you haven't, you should do this. Go to settings, go to passwords, and click on security recommendations. Here, Apple themselves will help you level up your password game. All you need to do is look at the recommendations and see what needs to be done. Side note, you might need to set some time aside for this one but it's worth doing. Number nine. So remember tip number four where I talked about tracking pixels and cookies? Well, that doesn't just happen in emails. Websites are riddled and plagued with these kinds of marketing tracking tricks. So I've added this feature because it's gonna help you stay off the grid. And this is exclusive to Apple Safari browser. Go to settings, choose Safari. Here, you should enable prevent cross-site tracking. Also hide your IP address as well. Take your time, go through these settings, configure it how you want. And here's a little tip while we're on this page. If you ever need to access a desktop version of a website, you can request Safari to open desktop websites instead of mobile websites. So this is another barrier you can put up to prevent advertisers from tracking you using links inside of emails. And this trick is exclusive to the Apple Mail app. Go to settings, then choose Mail. Click on Privacy and Protection and enable protect mail. Now those sneaky email marketers will find it really hard to track you via dodgy links inside of emails. Okay, thank you for making it this far. Here are the two bonus tips for you legendary people. So let's say someone you know is constantly forgetting their Apple ID logins. Did you know you can set up a contact of your choosing who can help you reset a password if it's forgotten? Go to settings, tap on your name at the top, then go to password and security and then account recovery. Here you can create an account recovery contact. Please note, this person on their own cannot access your information at all. You will have to participate in the account recovery process, so don't worry about that. And this is a great fallback tip for forgetful people. And last but not least, part of the story is the end. In event of an untimely death, not that death at any time isn't untimely, you might want to allow a family member or loved one to be able to access your millions in cryptocurrency or NFTs or something. There is an Apple feature for that. It's called a legacy contact. To set this up, go to settings and tap on your name, then password and security, and then scroll down and select legacy contact. Be mindful how you use this one and be sure to tap on the learn more link if you're unsure about how it works. And the last, most important tip of them all, see that red button below this video that says subscribe? If you hit that, good karma will come your way. I promise. And I appreciate you guys for watching this far into the video. If you want more iPhone tips and tricks, there's two thumbnails on screen right now. If you got any value out of this one at all, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And if you just subscribed, you're now one of the finest subscribers known to man. And I will see you in the next one.